Hey guys, Overlord here of World 10 Games. And if you're looking at my screen, you notice it's moving faster than a crackhead. The reason for this is this video is at 8 times speed. Why? Because it's over an hour long. It's basically my you know, attempt at a tutorial on how to dock. But this particular instance took me longer than what you might expect. So right here on the screen we have a simple crew pod and it's uh, you know trying to get orbit I should have put in reaction wheels whatever to help stabilize it but that's just fine and we are traveling up in space we have a space station in need of crew so we're sending yay So, what you're going to want to do, basically, is use the Ascend Guidance System to get into orbit. It really doesn't matter what you go for. I usually go for 208 kilometers. From there, you're going to set whatever your space station, ship, whatever you want to dock with. You set that as your target and use the uh, Rendezvous Autopilot to get close to it. Now you're going to want to use a really close distance. 100 meters is still kind of off, and that leaves too much wiggle room. I set mine for one hundredth of a millimeter. Once that's activated, you're going to be set on an automatic path to try to get as close as possible. Now this system isn't 100% perfect, and there's a lot of uh, room for error. Now, one trick with uh, MetJeb2 that you might know is that if you go to your map and use the Switch 2 option on another craft, MetJeb will stay active. So you can see Power, B Power D is using uh, RCS systems to point towards our craft. Now, in this instance, the main reason why it took so long is because this craft is extremely unstable. I was kind of in a hurry. I just slapped the thing together. I didn't bother put in any kind of stabilization. But you'll learn from my mistakes, right? Put in reactor wheel, reaction wheels, whatever. Stabilizers. So what you're gonna want to do is go to the other one, set to your uh, main ship that you like this one now and set it to face towards the target. It's very basic but extremely important and you would use that the smart ass system for that. That's pretty basic mech jab. But it does help a lot especially when you dock successfully. So once you do this and once you do get close enough like we are in this part of the video use the the um, docking autopilot turn that on set your speed limit and once you enable it it will use your RCS systems to come as close to as possible but it's very important you set your docking port as the target if you don't there's gonna be hell to pay that's just how it is See, you see, Jebediah is very excited. So this is actually my first space station that I have built, and it really serves minimum purpose at the moment. But I'm hoping to eventually use it kind of as a dry dock. For a, a large interplanetary ship, I suppose. I'm not 100% sure what we'll be doing with it. But I'll probably include you in it. Alright, so right about here, I realized that the engines are not going to line up very well. So at some point or another, I'm going to eject those when it's convenient. But that's not the only issue I ran into. 
See, it helps to build a more stable ship, which I should have. Kind of failed at that one. But do remember this is going by eight times the speed that you saw it. Things were just slightly more gentle. But all in all, it, it was a pretty rough docking. But that's not the point of this, to show off that I'm the world's greatest docker, because I'm not. Yeah, so there goes the engines. They'll float around for a while. Eventually everything just gets lined up. And then there. Right around this second or so, or many seconds put together, powered these uh, loses uh, mono propellant. Right, so now it's begun docking. So, yeah. Well, 